Well, I've always been interested in the past and visiting places like stately homes and castles and ancient monuments during the school holidays with my parents. Um, places like Hatfield House, like the Tower of London, as well as going to museums, places like the Natural History Museum in London and the British Museum, I found the collections there really inspiring. At school I'd always been interested in history and science and I wanted a way to combine the two and archaeological science is the perfect way to do that. And I chose Durham for a number of reasons including the staff here, the academics, the research that's been produced uh, is incredible and also Durham as a city is beautiful and it seemed like a lovely place to live and that's probably the main two reasons why I chose Durham. Well, I particularly, there were a couple of modules that really stood out for me. For example, Bones and Human Societies in third year, where you get to work with both human and animal remains, and learning about how you identify them, different pathologies on them, and how the, you can learn about people of the past from the remains that you find in the ground. Animal remains, in addition to human remains and artifactual data that are available at the site, help to paint a broader picture on things like diet and seasonality. For example, if you look at the seasonality within isotopes of teeth of when these animals were being born and when they were being killed to be eaten, mm. or if they weren't being killed to be eaten and they were being used for milk or wool production, you can tell a lot more about a society than you would be able to when a lot of other organic remains are no longer present. Something else that I really enjoyed was the opportunity to take part in practical work and practical field work during the holidays such as the three weeks that I spent in Colorado excavating a Bronze Age burial cave with Robin Skeets mm -hmm. uh, during the summer between second and third year. Mm -hmm. Also, I got an opportunity to go down and work in an ancient DNA lab in London during the same holidays, which was an excellent opportunity. My undergraduate dissertation involved looking at the faunal remains from a Mesolithic site, so the Middle Stone Age, called Blick Mead, which is in the Stonehenge landscape. Um, within this assemblage we had over 2,000 individual fragments. All of these came from the site. These four bones are all aurochs, which is a species of wild cattle, which is much, much bigger and much, much more aggressive than the cattle that we have today. For example, this is one of its knuckles, so in comparison to my finger. It's a lot bigger. Um, this one over here shows evidence of butchery and was one of the remains that we took samples from so that we could do isotopic analysis in order to get a better idea of the diet and migratory patterns of the aurochs as they're no longer extant today. Well, now I've graduated, I've decided to stay on at Durham and carry on studying archaeological science at an MSc level. I want to continue studying some of the things that I focused on during my dissertation at undergrad. Mm -hmm. Um, such as isotopes and animal remains.